Hi folks, welcome to the Q's Views, where, where everyone's, everyone's entitled, entitled to our opinion. opinion. Good to see you again, and we're going to talk today about our continuing journey, and this time uh, about the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. So it's a spectacular, uh, spectacular place, uh, and our, sometimes people refer to the Grand Canyon, they say, what a hole. <laughs> but it's much more than a hole. It is amazing. It is. The colors, uh, the, the layers of, uh, of the earth, the geology is just stupendous. You can't really, pictures don't do it justice because it's so big uh, and it's just spectacular. So when you stand at the rim, it really is awe-inspiring. Um, so uh, we stayed at a, a Thousand Trails uh, Park, and I'm going to refer to my notes as we as we talk. It's called Trailer Village. I'm sorry. We stayed at a Trailer Village RV Park, which is not Thousand Trails. It's actually in the park, uh, and it's uh, it was really nice. It had 50 amp. Uh, it has a no cable TV and no cell service, so don't very little cell service. So unless you're using a booster with a large antenna, uh, you're probably not going to get a whole lot of reception there. So uh, be prepared to be out in the uh, out in the boonies. Uh, the other thing too is that what we experienced throughout our Southwest uh, trip so far is low water pressure. Right. So right. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, a trickle coming out of the out of the faucet. So uh, so use your water pump if you've got it and fill up your tanks. That's that's how we got around it. So um, it was really easy to navigate the park when we pulled when we drove in and pulling into the spot. But we had a visitor at our campsite as as we were greeted as we were pulled in. Right, so guy's getting ready to pull in and, you know, lo and behold, who comes walking into the campground where he's supposed to back in is an elk. And, and she's just cruising along, eating all the grass, and, I'm, and it, it, she was taller than me. And so I'm like, hmm, tell guy to stop. It's like, we have to shoo her away a little bit. So finally she walked around and came to the other side, so guy got to pull in. But they come right up to the coach. They are not shy at all. No. Mm -mm. So, and they're very, very tall. So, and you don't feed them. It's just that there's lots of really good um, snacks for them to eat little, around the campground. Yeah, little uh, nuts that fall from the and tree. And like berry things. And berry things, absolutely. So they were they were all over the campground, right next to our right next to our RV, which you'll see. I'll post a picture of that during this video. Um, so we pulled into the campground uh, again. A really nice little little campground. Um, it's uh, then we walked out to uh, the following day. We walked out to Mather Point, which was just right you know, about a mile from our campground. We drove out there, parked, and walked to the point, and the view was again spectacular. And then they had this sign, which I'll post as well, which I'll show you as well. Um, very similar to airports, where it says uh, we res we respect people's First Amendment rights. So they've designated an area where people can uh, speak their mind. There weren't any uh, any uh, any protesters that day. Any protesters or anybody uh, talking, but uh, or but uh, they do respect folks' uh, right to uh, to say what they need to say uh, and exercise their First Amendment rights, which is really kind of cool. Uh, again, so we walk up to the edge, and it's just. We, what we say in all of the national parks for different reasons is like, wow. I mean, you can walk along the rim and every time you turn on another corner and go to another spot, you see a whole different perspective um, of the big hole in the ground. And um, so it was, it, you could spend all day just looking at the various different outcroppings and slashes into the rocks. And, and the views vary according to the time of day as well. So when you get there in the, in the early morning, uh, you get some beautiful, beautiful sunshine on the western uh, facing rocks. And then uh, in the middle of the day, it's just all of the colors just kind of pop. And then a lot of folks went out there in the evening time. We didn't get out there in the right, evening time for sunset. Right, we didn't get to the sunset. Right. So, uh, they do have uh, quite a number of uh, amenities here. They've got a little village and a village store. So we decided to uh, shop at a village store. Everyone was exercising good caution when it came to social distancing. So we got a couple of steaks yeah. and uh, and a good bottle of wine and came home and had a nice, wonderful gourmet dinner in the, I won't say cool of the evening. Right. <laughs> there is no such thing as cool in the desert in the summer. We've chosen, uh, the way our trip worked out, we've chosen to be at a lot of the highlights of the southwestern uh, Sonoran Desert in the middle of summer where the temperatures exceed 100 degrees pretty much every day. But in the evening, it cools down to a balmy 90, 88 to 92. So we had, yeah, yeah we, along with our it's elk pleasant. friend, we had yeah, we had dinner in the uh, in the evening, which is really nice. Again, I'll, I'll show you a picture of that. Um, we did try, we did go out to uh, to the hotel there, the lodge there, which is right on the rim. Uh, but it was jammed. There were there were a line of cars uh, trying to get into. Uh, 
the hotel there right at the point. I forget the name. I think it's a Tovar, uh, El Tovar Hotel. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we just decided not to stay because it was too crowded. So what we did instead is we drove out to the eastern section of the South Rim. Uh, the eastern entrance to the park itself was closed because that's, uh, that uh, borders on the Navajo Nation. And uh, the Navajo has have strict travel restrictions during this pandemic. So they closed the eastern border. So the road was closed about a mile from that eastern border. So Desert View and all of that were, were not accessible. But most of the viewpoints up to that point were open. And uh, crowds, were there crowds? Uh, yes, there, there were crowds. Crowds of people? I thought they were along the rim, and we were walking. Oh, there were a couple of places where there were crowds on the rim, but when we went out to the eastern section, oh no, no, there was hardly anybody right. out there. Yeah, so you got to pick up the cue on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so when we went out to the eastern section of the rim, there weren't oh, any crowds. That's true. There were not. We did run into this one person though, who thought he was the cat's meow, and was basically giving a lecture to one person about his his experiences on the Colorado River. Uh, but on the eastern rim, uh, the eastern portion of the southern rim, what you can see really good views of is the Colorado River itself winding down the canyon, and you get some sh you get some nice shots of some rapids. Uh, if you've got a good lens or even an iPhone and you see, and you zoom in on it, you can see how the rapids uh, can be pretty harrowing for folks uh, going down it. You know, so. Colorado River is a is a huge river, but when you're looking for it in at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, many times you can't see it until you get to a certain spot where you can actually where you can actually um, see it. That's how far down it is. Right, and there were and there were rangers, uh, uh, quite a, quite a number of them present. So if you wanted to ask questions, they had little stands set up to where you could walk up and ask questions. But but the uh, the visitor center and the museum areas were all closed. So but the bookstores are open. And they only allow a couple of people in it, a few people in it at a time. So we felt safe, and uh, again, it was a spectacular uh, visit. We spent three days there. Uh, originally, we thought that maybe that was not enough, and then we found out actually it actually it, was. It, it was it was the right amount of time for us. Uh, we did not go hiking down into the canyon. Uh, we're, I, I don't know about you, but. I didn't feel like I could make it back up if it, I went down. It, it's, it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> and, and some of them were, um, some of them were, they were closed because you had to hold on to um, wire ropes. Railing, yeah. Railing, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, so a lot of that was actually closed. Yeah. So, but overall, it was well worth the time and well worth the visit. And uh, we're glad that we were able to get out to the Grand Canyon and see it. Uh, occasionally, what we try to do is that uh, if we're in a local area and they've got a local beer, we try and uh, we, we'll pick up a sample of that. And they had one in the store. Yes, they did. Grand Canyon beer. Again, I'll post a picture of that as well. It is actually really good. Yeah. So uh, lots of elk, uh, lots of lots of uh, friendly folks, but good social distancing and well worth the trip out. If you've never seen the Grand Canyon, uh, it's worth it. If you're a geology fan. Uh, you have you have to go. This is a uh, this is kind of like a graduate course and a whole degree in uh, geology. Everything's in one place because the Grand Canyon actually has it all. Yeah, yeah. But some of the some of the oldest layers of the Grand Canyon are uh, are between one and two billion years old. So it's just amazing the geology to look at all of this. In most of our national parks where we've been, is you stand at the bottom and you look up like not like Zion or uh, or Yosemite, mm -hmm. but in the Grand Canyon, you stand at the top and you look down. So it's, a, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to share about the Grand Canyon? No, I think we covered, okay, it. All right. we covered it all. Well, we'll post pictures. Uh, you'll see them up here on the side of the video, either covering my face or covering Carolyn's face. <laughs> so, and I hope you enjoy the pictures. Uh, once again, thanks very much for following us and for taking a few minutes to watch the video. And remember the cues. You get, well, uh, like subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when we upload new videos so once again this is the cues use where, where everyone's everyone is entitled, entitled to our opinion. opinion thanks a lot <laughs> safe travels bye